It's pretty crazy to like be able to like look back now and be like, oh, I did that. Just seeing like I remember some of the tracks I would go to and like the whoops would be like up to my chest and I'd be like, oh, how am I going to get through this? Like not once, but like multiple times. <laughs> I remember one of my first shows, it was like, oh, we need a girl. And I'm like, yeah, but I can't do any tricks. I can like kind of whip and knack. And they're like, we don't care. We just need a girl to jump 75. And like that's how it like started. So like that's literally, it was like, we need a girl and the girl can do the jump. And that's like legit how it started. <laughs> Dude, it's funny because Jeremy's normally like that person for like all of us. Like we go to him, like he's just like the, one of those dudes that like he hears something and he knows like the speed. Like he can just like, I don't know. He's just seen so much that he just has that. Yeah. And I remember looking at, I think year two, I was just like in a super low confidence for year two of imagination. And I was struggling to really pull the trigger on the, I think it was a 130 over the quarter pipe. And I like stood there next to him and, and I like looked at him like, do you think that's good? And he was like, yeah, you got it. And I like did it stoked. And then after, like, I just like remember, and I'm just like, I remember him like Axel coming up to him about something that's like super ridiculous and like Axel will do the same thing and I'll be standing with Jeremy and Jeremy's like yeah you got it and then Jeremy will look at me and be like I don't know if he's got it <laughs> and I'm like he probably did that to me <laughs> oh that's so good he's a uh he's a very special dude old old twitch isn't he yeah he's uh like Tyler always says he's the nicest asshole you'll ever meet and uh, yeah, yeah. that that stays true to him for sure and um I've uh I've kind of like we're we're a handful of years apart obviously but we grew up in like the towns next to each other and we were like at the same local motocross track and stuff like that so like our parents were kind of friends and things like that oh so, no way yeah so we came from the like the same crappy sketchy east county living so I think that's kind of like where I look at him in a special light because like we came from the same same crappy town where you know like it was pretty much drug addiction left and right and just like you know just living off of pretty much nothing so um just to see like him and how he hasn't changed and he stayed true to himself the entire time through having nothing to having everything is like is super super you know like humbling to me and such a good like um, role model in a sense. I don't, hopefully he doesn't listen to this and it starts talking shit <laughs> that I'm actually complimenting him. But, um, yeah, he's just like, he's just such a, like, I don't know, like he is actually like a genuinely like great human and yeah. he may give us a shit ton of shit to deal with, but it's, it's all in love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a good point too. Like if you, you know, you go back and for me, like the reference is watching some of the like I, I can't remember there was like a doco that they did on twitch or maybe it was like adventures of twitch and scummy or like one of the videos and man like he grew up fucking so broke like his teeth were all fucked up <laughs> you know like oh, he, yeah. had lit, he had like nothing and like he's rich now and he's the same motherfucker <laughs> yeah but he won't hesitate to help any uh, anybody yeah. out like it like he he knows like what it's like and where he came from and he respects the people that are are going through similar things to where they're they've they're pretty limited financially and they're trying to do something with themselves and he'll respect that and he'll give you the shirt off his back if you're if you're willing to do it yeah and and to go through and have the career that he's had and you know like to to make a bunch of money to be super successful but then to just not change like just to be the same dude you know like yeah you get your teeth fixed and you get some nicer shit but like you're, <laughs> you're the same you're the same guy like that's a that's yeah. a pretty underrated achievement i think especially you know in in the time of fucking social media and all the all the shit like that stuff is just it's so easy to change you when you go through something like that Oh, absolutely. And I think, I don't know, I think maybe, maybe him having, you know, Katrina super young, maybe I think that was like a big part of, of his, yeah. you know, you know, he had a kid super young and then having, 
you know um the boss lady Susie she's like she's she, does, she doesn't play her. yeah she's a <laughs> savage so yeah. um she's just like I don't know it's just like having her even around like for me like it's just like such a, like a good like person to have around and like she's just like I said she's just she's the boss lady and she'll tell you how it is and and everybody needs that including all of us so um (laughs) she's like I don't know she's just such a good like person to have around for obviously Jeremy has been been with her for countless years and but just to have her you know on all of our sides as well to to go to for advice and and we we actually like a lot of us go to both of them for so much advice just life yeah yeah because man he's been through so much in his career like you know from where he come from to then crusty demons exploding when he was like 17 18 going through everything that you know you go through on that wave metal militia then the metal militia goes away and then you know like even i guess it's like it's ups and downs in terms of like what you would call success for him too you know and then I think like the whole uh Jew tour era where he was so dominant in in that era of like freestyle as a competitor then he goes to the you know like the free ride like he was kind of one of the pioneers there and then to just like he's hit it massive with DBK which is so cool to to see um you know like from a from a business and a financial standpoint and then it's like he's almost really taken on a responsibility to help like the next generation as well like he's honestly had a crazy cool career in life yeah absolutely I mean he he has truly like paved the way like granted like his freestyle career and but like even rolling back to like when he stopped competing and started paving like really I mean not paving the way but like fully opening a door for for basically all everything that we do now like most people don't really realize but he was the guy that went to his sponsors was like hey look like i'm not competing anymore i'm gonna go mm. do video parts so you want you enter you out and they're all like we're in so like he completely opened that whole door like and it's like branched off and and formed into probably like kind of what free riding is now but he's the guy that like really like was he straight up is obviously he's told us multiple times like he's just went straight to his sponsors like this is what i'm doing are you sticking with me and they're all like yep so then he went and did video parts and like that just opened up this whole new world that moto hasn't truly seen yeah because you think about every other action sports industry like skating there's dudes that will get paid a shit ton of money sell a fuckload of skateboards and they'll never do a contest in their life there's surfers yeah, that like will fly around parts. the globe yeah they'll fly around they'll they'll go on trips they'll just chase waves down they'll have their own you know content whatever and like for whatever reason moto just never really developed that until jeremy came along really yeah and i don't know what sparked in his head to, to change that direction and and maybe because like you know the competition was going maybe in a direction he didn't really care for or or what the reasoning was exactly but um I'm glad he did because I think that that created a door like you said like we're artists and I don't think that was we were looked at as artists until he made that so we are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site gypsytales.com packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.